What happens when we die? What will we leave behind? Immortality comes when you give your people something that they needed, that they didn't have, and that they can keep when you are gone. That is how you, how you survive your own death. So you want to be a knight, eh? You've lived your whole life inside these castle walls, yeah? Grown up here safe. And now you come to me and say that you want to pick up a weapon and defend your people? Do you know what's out there? Wastelands, poisoned lakes, starving barbarians, we are going to ride out and retake those lands. Yes, those lands were ours, and they will be ours again. But if you are going to pick up a sword, remember that it will be for the rest of your life. We have endless enemies to fight. We are far fewer than we used to be, but these are our lands. So, Pick up your sword, learn to use it, and ride out with us, but don't expect to ride back. You'll we'll always be a warrior if you start down that route. But for those who live, gold, plunder, power, glory. So, are you with me? Well, oh, then come aboard. Tu sais, la réalité du jeu vidéo aujourd'hui, c'est une industrie super sauvage où que 3 des jeux ramènent 97 des profits. Dans tous les processus créatifs, on vous dit « Ah oui, c'est normal d'échouer, on fait des felcams et on rit de nos échecs. » Mais quand tu le vis, là, c'est un peu moins agréable, surtout quand tu viens de brûler une dizaine de millions. C'est deux ans de ma vie que j'ai passé en étant convaincu qu'on avait quelque chose de magique des mains jusqu'à temps qu'on réalise qu'on grimpait pas le bon mur. Mais lui, là, ça c'est Yannis Mala, c'est mon... le CEO du studio de Toronto, Montréal et Québec. Puis, as-tu envie qu'on se relève? Parce que peut-être qu'il dit, hey, la gang de moineaux, venez me faire perdre assez d'argent et de temps. Euh, allez donc travailler sur des marques existantes. Là, ce que j'avais réussi à faire, c'est d'avoir six mois de temps avec mon équipe pour arriver avec une proposition. Et au bout de six mois, on décide, on tient-tu la plug, puis on vous met sur d'autres projets, ou on continue, puis on investit. Je cherchais un directeur créatif qui allait avoir un jeu en lui. Lui, il est arrivé au deuxième meeting avec un épée de bois qu'il avait fait à 14 ans. When I started this project, I was half convinced that I was crazy. I pitched this project for 10 years, and every single person that I pitched it to had said no. It said no. It's not. It's not interesting. It's not going to work. I don't get it. It's not cool. I was starting to think I was crazy. Je le sais aujourd'hui la douleur que c'est là quand ça fonctionne pas. J'ai quand même été assez fou pour commencer. Stéphane, notre producteur, ça va être un mix d'anglais-français. Parce que pour, pour avoir un pitch en bonne et due forme de ouais. Jason, ça te prend en anglais. Je peux faire mon, mon pitch en français, mais it would make no sense at all. It would, right? It would. So, I've had a game in my head for 
about uh, 12 years now. I actually wanted to play this game for much longer than that. Uh, but the industry just kept not making it, right? <laughs> I, would, I would go to the store every year and it wasn't there. And now I download and I'm like, where is it? It hasn't arrived. So that's this game, okay? This game is that. When our player was, you know, eight years old, <laughs> so or so, right? He or she um, was in the backyard and found a stick and And he could do it. Couldn't put a ball through a hoop, right? Couldn't write his own name in his handwriting very well, right? But, right? I'm all right, man. So he did what any reasonable eight year old would do is he went and found his brother and beat the shit out of him with it, right? It's <laughs> like, right, right? Later, in high school, picks up a baseball bat, something moves. What is that? Like, that's a little scary. <laughs> it's like, Mm, what is that thing? Mm, but wow. Mm. So he puts it down and says, fuck that, I'm gonna go play video games. assez euh, intéressant de faire le rapprochement entre nos trois cultures et des genres musicaux en fait. We're bringing the Super Bowl like mood and adrenaline. Le métal, ça fit bien avec l'image qu'on va qu'on va développer autour des Vikings. Le rap, très intéressant pour les Knights. It's like monster truck meets UFC, it's loud, it's dangerous, it's full of dust, it's full of blood. Knight, Viking, or Samurai, what kind of person are you? What would you fight for? Here we go. Pam, trois trois cent. Let's go. Trois trois cent. Nick. Oh yeah. First of all, we wanted to uh, solidify the nucleus of the game, which is the fight mechanic. It's our biggest risk and the heart and soul of this game and the, and the business model of this game. We convinced the company that we had an idea about melee sword fighting that was a completely new way to, to, to play these games, was a real breakthrough in gameplay. Instead of the traditional approach where we expect you to memorize combinations, the Art of Battle puts your attention on your enemy's weapon as the most important thing that matters. And not just on the weapon itself, but on that weapon's position in space. Uh, Yanis was here to just see the production. The good news is he really asked to see Hero he was looking at it and he, you see, we, we sold the meeting, he, he went out happy. That said, that doesn't bring anything new to the project or to, it was more a recognition tour. L'innovation, ça vient avec du risque. Plus il plus y a d'innovation, plus il y a de risque. Et, 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 et plus il y a de risque, plus il y a de de chance que ça s'écroule parce qu'il y a trop de forces qui viennent s'opposer à ce que l'équipe veut faire. Que ce soit la pression pour avoir des talents, avoir des ressources, que ce soit le doute parce que à côté il y a un gros truc qui marche, pourquoi tu fais pas pareil. One thing I will do very often is update you on what's happening on the marketing side. I know we're not like yet ready to go out and say hey we exist, but in two weeks from now we're going to have people from Europe and San Francisco, marketing people from operational marketing will come here. Uh, we're going to present them the game. They're going to come and play. Aujourd'hui, on parle d'une vision qui est pure, qui est celle de Jason. Tu sais, on, on a une page blanche. On n'a pas de nom, on n'a pas de logo, on n'a pas d'image de boîte, on n'a pas de trailer. On n'a rien qui existe. 
Faut tout créer ça. When you introduce a new brand, we want to make sure that we start with a message that can be understood and resonate into as, as many players yeah. as possible. Blade Masters, Blade Assault, Warriors of Honor, Eternal Honor, Blade Warfare, Blade Assault. J'ai pris la semaine passée avec le Creative Services à San Francisco. Ça, ça a des annonces qui sont Force of Arms, Wrath of the Warriors, Storm of Steel, Blade Rivals, Brotherhood of Steel, Bloodsport. We want to capture the universal feeling of the heroic moment, the universal feeling of what it's like to be a warrior on a battlefield. Yeah, there, yes. The night fantasy of being a protector, right, has always really hit me hard. My mom was a was a uh, big Rodgers and Hammerstein fan, musicals, right? And her favorite musical was Camelot. And so I grew up watching Lancelot singing about, you know, being a valorous knight. And that whole thing was sort of where I got started, you know, uh, with this fantasy. If you were really in trouble, right, you were like, you would try to, you would try to follow it, right? I think fantasy is a, it's full of lessons about what can be and who we are. My dad was a collector of religions. Uh, by the time I was 14, I had been, I think, seven different things. We had been, you know, Christian, Buddhist, atheist, you know, this is long agnostic thing. We had done pagan stuff. We had done everything. He was Zen, he was into meditation. He did, he was a member of a cult. <laughs> it was, He did, he did a Religion of the Month club, man. I'm watching shows or, you know, I'm always watching them with a purpose. And what's the statement that's being made here? I take in entertainment like it was a philosophy, like it was a statement of philosophy. Oh yeah, this one. Là, les filles, là, va faire se dépêcher parce que la gymnastique... Puis là, toi, Delphine, t'as oublié ton, euh, ton maillot de gym chez maman. C'est que là, faut passer chez maman chercher ton maillot de gym. En plus, c'est la catastrophe. Le, le souper, moi, en tout cas, je vais manger juste vers euh, 7 heures, quand que je vais arriver. Viens ici. Oh, oui. Mais... Au début, quand tu arrives dans le jeu, tu peux choisir soit un monde normal ou le monde magique. Il peut avoir des méchants comme des monstres. Avant d'être, tu choisis un pouvoir. Ça, c'est cool. Puis tu peux devenir dresseur de dragon. Puis aussi, tu peux devenir la reine ou le roi. Le monde de Frivia, c'est un monde euh, vraiment très dispendieux. Tente pas de faire ça un peu plus cheap. Papa. Ton jeu à toi n'est pas cheap, donc mon jeu à moi sera pas cheap. <rire> Aujourd'hui, un jeu comme on est en train de produire, il n'en existe pas sur le marché. Il fallait trouver une façon de ne pas voir trop long en avant, mais être sûr qu'on avance avec, en plein, à pleine vélocité. On s'est mis à intégrer les sessions de jeu au cœur de notre développement. Every milestone is, is one of these, right? Where everyone gets together on the team and we make teams and we just beat the holy hell out of each other, right? We have a great time doing it, right? I'm here with Jason, the Dark Lord Vandenberg, and I want to get your impressions. That was madness! The competition forces us to engage with the game 100%. And what happens is we find all the bugs, we find out what's wrong, we find out if it's unfair, right? Oh, he just took power, guys. Because after a tournament like this, you know, the, the teams that lost, they're gonna be, well, they're gonna say, if there was a reason that they lost, if the game was unfair, they're gonna say, well, it was unfair for this reason and this reason and this reason. Ah, 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 you're There's no disadvantage to playing against Giannis because you get to kill him a lot of times. It's really, that's super fun. Bang! Bang! 
La pression est, est qu'on se bat toujours pour notre survie puis pour convaincre la direction que l'argent ici investi est mieux investi à cause du potentiel du projet que sur une autre marque existante. How many times do I need to remind you this rule in show business? Yes. You need to be good when it counts. OK. <laughs> That's true. And I'll tell you when that. Oh, when that is. OK, right. Good, good. So when I win. That's when you win. Of course. course. That's when it counts. Je sais le sport de combat. Ça m'arrive de prendre des coups. Ça m'arrive d'en donner. Je sais ce qui vient avec. La peur, la crainte, le, le thrill, l'intensité. Cette intensité-là, là, on l'a en joie. Parfait, parfait, parfait. Amène-moi le Dark Lord. Merde! Avant, un meeting sur toi avec le management, il cancellait. Oh, il y a une autre urgence. Comme on a un projet tôt en développement, il y a toujours des, des, des urgences du jour qui pouvaient prendre le dessus. Maintenant, le management est sur mon plancher une journée plus tôt pour se pratiquer parce que c'est tous des orgueilleux et on n'a pas envie de se faire torcher que la journée du tournoi. Donc, j'ai eu un buy-in euh, des gens de l'équipe, mais j'ai aussi un buy-in des gens de la, de la direction. Sonic and Moonwreck, the two team captains, dueling here. Sonic doing a great job with the guard breaks, placing those attacks really, really well. Moonwreck gets a strong attack in. Is this still anyone's game? I got an education about bullies, uh, you know, for the first 20 years of my life. In school and being young, I was constantly being attacked. I was never safe, never safe, because I wouldn't fight back. All you needed to do was say one thing to me, man, and I would break down crying, I'd get mad, I'd freak out, I would give him these huge reactions. I get hurt really, really easy, and that's on me. That's not the world constantly hurting me, right? That's, that's, I'm really, really sensitive. So I'm gonna get hurt. Like, it's just gonna happen. There's no avoiding it. If you're someone who's afraid that something bad's going to happen, then understanding the consequences um, of violent action can help you with that feeling. I think that anyone who is interested in how the world works will also be interested in violence because violence is a natural consequence of conflict. And I can be fascinated by that and not need to express it at all. I have no need to, I'm not a violent person. I'm very peaceful, in fact. Man grabs the sword, he scans all the details. We can we cut to a first person view of the knight running towards a group of imposing Vikings. This is the moment that we realize how scary it can be to be on a battlefield facing such a strong enemy. Are you okay? The story of I've always wondered what it would be like. I never had to, and I've always wondered if I could. That's you uh you put your finger on something. Il faut quand même aller le pitcher, là. Ouais. pour nous, euh, un des enjeux aujourd'hui, c'est qu'est-ce qu'on présente. Close up on the sword's grip, plunge into the ground. The hand of a man grabs it firmly and pulls it out. Behind him, other soldiers are following his steps. Je crois que c'est l'année où qu'on doit annoncer le jeu. Aujourd'hui, le drame, ce serait qu'il y a un autre gros projet qui arrive et qui annonce le même jeu qu'on est en train de travailler. This combat system, this lock on fight, dual stance. We didn't invent this. We discovered this, right? The worst thing that could happen would be that there's somebody else who's been working on it too. It's 
we have this big meeting where like me and Steph and Luke, all the sort of like the core leads of the team, we all go to Paris, right, to meet with the, at HQ with Yves Guimau and with the editorial group there. So we get together, we show where we, what we're doing, and then we talk about what we'd like to do, right, what our plans are. They said, actually, you know what, you guys? Um, we think you should go for it for the full box game, the big one. The answer is yes, good. Your current plan is good, right? And we'll give you this much more. Here, take this money. And inside, I'm like, yes. Oh my God. Like, you know, just like, oh. All right. Congratulations, Zero Team, on your fucking FPP. It's gonna get hot and heavy for the next year or so. The people that you are partying with right now and that you're talking with right now, you're gonna see a lot of these faces. And remember, we're in this together. We're gonna do a great fucking job. The game is amazing. You guys are amazing, and I'm proud to work with you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> challenge is say, hey guys, we are here, we exist. You saw it with the trailer, right? You saw, you see it when you play with the action, right? That's Night Viking Samurai, what's the deal? It's about you, it's about what do you value? What kind of warrior is inside of you? One of the biggest announcements of today's Ubisoft press conference is one of the big new games that was revealed this year. There is melee combat, but this is a different style of melee, it is. isn't it? We call it the art of battle. Instead of it happening here in your head, you're not thinking about it sort of intellectually. It happens down here in the lizard brain. There was a big surprise delivered by this man. Surprise! <laughs> surprise! When people start playing, they immediately start... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a new system, so give yourself a couple of minutes. <laughs> but once you get it, that's where the fun will peak. It's you and me. We're going to decide this. Two great warriors slashing in the battlefield. For a decade, I was like, we should make this game, we should make this game, we should make this game. And the answer was no, 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 no. No, we don't make that kind of game. No, no. Today we, we came here with our Dominion mode. We have split screen, different multiplayer modes. Hallo nach Deutschland oder in die ganze Welt. Und neben mir sitzt Jason Vanderberg. Why is it called For Honor? The title is kind of a question, right? Yeah. What do you What do you think honor means, right? And what would you fight for? Knights, and it's usually about you know, protectors, right? Defending the weak, right? And the nobility of that. For people who pick Vikings, right? It's all about like expression and freedom and passion and raw. And then samurai, it's always about mastery and, you know, discipline and learning the focus and, you know, working towards something that's greater than yourself. Yeah, right? drop by my desk. I'll, I'll have it ready for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've been going from a team that has been really led by one person creatively. Like, I've been this, you know, like, visionary auteur pushing and, like, helping every piece of the game, you know, all the way through to a team where that now has been spread out, right? I've given that responsibility to 10 different people, right? To all the different directors. And we're making this organization that knows how to make this game, right? So that, but if I get hit by a bus, right? They can make the game. That's one thing that we need to fix though, is they don't do... Avec l'ampleur des budgets qu'on travaille, je peux pas arriver puis dire à mes patrons, euh, on fait quelque chose de nouveau, on va apprendre comment le faire. Non, il faut aller compétitionner avec les meilleurs au monde. Donc, euh, pour compétitionner avec les meilleurs au monde, tu dois aller chercher les meilleurs talents au monde. On a cinq studios aujourd'hui qui travaillent avec nous. On a des gens en Chine, en Inde, euh, Bucarest, euh, en Allemagne, à Québec, à Toronto. On a dispersé notre production. C'est rendu une grosse machine. Là. Bientôt, 500 personnes vont être impliquées dans le projet Foreigner. Il n'y a rien de pas correct. Là. Je pense qu'il y a un manque de confiance. Euh, C'est tout. Moi, je... Je vais tous en parler. En fait, mes mots, ça a été calm the fuck down. 
whoever it is that is making this these decisions because so far I don't even know who is making these decisions. Est-ce que vous savez de l'info pourquoi que Jason perd sa coche ce matin? Des trucs qu'il a demandé de faire, euh, qui étaient faits, mais ça a changé. Fait que là, il, et puis là, il s'en va trois jours okay. pour le week-end. Fait que, euh, fait que là, il est en panique. The last six months has been really intense because we are a big team now and I no longer have the time to explain to the people whose feelings I've hurt what I meant. And I'll be like, blah, and I'll say something, and they'll go, <gasps> and I can see it on their face, right? I can see that I've hurt them. And inside I go, oh, ah, oh, no, like, oh, no, 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 no. And when we were a smaller project, I could be like, look, I'm really sorry, let's talk about that and take 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and talk it out. And so it would be fine. But now, we gotta go. If your camera picks up speed a little bit and just gets the fuck over there, um, we won't feel the lack of the story quite as much. I am very particular, right, about I want things to be like this or like this or like this. And when I get into conflict with people, something about the way that I act and the way that I talk communicates to them that they're in danger. And I scare people. It feels to me like, again, we need to make each beat really crisp. When you're doing imagine you're working with a family of 208 people, right? Bang. And then imagine that you figure out that you're the crazy uncle who sometimes hurts everyone's feelings. Actually, I don't know. There, there was a weird little thing with All the right, grab, yes, but you yes, can yes, clean yes, it up. Yes, yes. And sometimes breaks their heart. Action! Come on in! Ah! Yeah! I want to stay and make this game forever. I don't want to hurt people. Yet, I have to tell people things they don't want to hear. And I have to be hard on people sometimes in ways that I'm not good at. I'm clumsy, right? And I'm required to do that for my job. Your hands are shaking because you think me a monster. You wonder what you could do. Strike me down somehow. Turn my legion against me. That passion, Warden, I live it every day, every breath. In that way, we are the same. What makes us different? is that you have not yet learned what real monsters are made of. Monsters, Warden, are made of innocence. War. The natural state of our species. This food, why are we not burning it all? What do you imagine the clans would do if we burned it all? They'd starve, die. They would unite, but leave them scrap. Just enough for two, maybe three clans. They will fight each other over what remains. The wolves among them will rise. We're not here to kill them. We are here to teach them who they are. Apollyon is the most dangerous warrior in our game world. She believes deeply that wolves are allowed to feed. Apollyon. I bring war. In For Honor, it's a very dark setting, right? It's a place where conflict is constant, right? The story is about being a warrior, being someone who will stay and fight, right? at the center of that conflict, and knowing that what you're doing may or may not be right, and may or may not be perfectly good or evil, right? But still doing the best that you can do 
in that moment and using every part of your ability in the hope that it makes the world a better place. I've made a lot of games, right? Almost every other project I've been on, I was there to save the project. I was there to help the project finish. It wasn't mine. I was there to close it, right? I was there to, to help. But if the game was good or bad, I always had an excuse. If people don't like this game, it, there, I won't have that. I won't be able to tell myself, oh, I didn't have time, or I didn't have the, you know, I didn't have the support, or I didn't have the, phew. it'll just be, no, we failed. Blackstone legions crave a world where trust is impossible. They're gonna run the trailer, and then I'm gonna walk out, and then we're gonna have a little story time, and then we're gonna watch the demo. And then I come back off stage, and I fall apart. Raider showed us what Viking fury could do. No, because it's lagging. We need to stop that. It's lagging. It's, it's a waste of time right now. It worked for a century. We're going to roll the backup video. Okay. We're going to roll the backup video. And it had begun. Fade. Logo. Logo! <laughs> you know the plan, you just fucked it up. And it had begun, fade to black, and just punch the logo in with the sound, which they fucked it up again. It's not that. The timing, like the video plays, the logo comes up. Right okay, then the what's the solution you propose? I don't know. Because I just... if, if you see a problem, tell me what kind of solution you see. And then we can see if what we can do with the assets we have in hand. That's the thing. It's not like I can modify the video. This is not, we, I cannot modify it. I'm aware of that, dude. It's not my so, first rodeo. Me neither, it's not my first rodeo. Yeah. So right. if you have a solution, bring it forward. Right now, right now, the date, which has been the number one question that people have been asking us, is just kind of a whoosh, ghost in, it's a ghost in the middle of a transition that's not even happening, right? So. I don't think we can judge. I had the same comments, but, but uh, it's supposed to be there, the mix, and after that. I, I think I can judge. I think I can. Okay. I, 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 so I'm, but that's a problem. Like, I'm that's attempting what we're, to. We're arguing right now. I don't, I, don't, I don't see the need to argue. I just, I'm just telling you guys that. I mean, you don't think you can judge. I think I can. It's really hard to stay focused, right? It's really hard to, to stay on top of all of that and have everything go well and maintain my emotional equilibrium, you know? Today as Americans, we grieve the brutal murder a horrific massacre of dozens of innocent people. Pray for the families who are grasping for answers with broken hearts. 
We stand with the people of Orlando who have endured a terrible attack on their city. We know enough to say that this was an act of terror and an act of hate. There is a lot of hate in this world. It, it's senseless. There's probably people out there that would find this sort of ironic. The, the, this, I'm making a game about warfare, you know. Games put you at the center, and sometimes that means creating villains, and sometimes that means putting, putting our characters in, in difficult places, and sometimes it means asking you to do things that seem difficult or grotesque or, diff, or you know, like frightening or all that stuff. But that's life, that's human life. If I have anything to say that can help, the best way for me to do that is through entertainment. Like my message will come through. Even if it's wrapped in swords and sorcery, right? I think that art is a way to strike back against anger and oppression and violence. It, and it's all I've got. Samedi matin, dimanche matin, dimanche soir. Très hâte que ce soit fini. Parce que là, c'est mes nuits sont. Le... Au-delà du décalage horaire, là, mes nuits sont de pire en pire. Cette nuit, je me suis levé cinq à huit fois. Je me lève pas la nuit à tout. Et je dors avec cette affaire-là dans la face. Là. Fait que j'ai. Quand pour me lever, aller faire pipi, là, faut que je l'enlève, faut que j'arrête la machine. Chaque année, les, les médias ils vont euh, parler des fois les jeux les plus attendus. Cette semaine, soit on a eu GameSpot, qui est un des plus gros sites, qui, qui, qui mettait les, les most anticipated games de 3 2016. Puis, tu sais, quand tu regardes, ben, le deuxième, c'est For Honor. Alors, c'est avec du Battlefield, du Zelda, donc avec des monstres d'industrie. There were no signs. It came without warning.
Desperation drives us to war. It is trust that can end it. Apollyon and her Blackstone legions crave a world where trust is impossible. <laughs> I'd like you to meet our game director on For Honor, Roman Campos Oriola. Come on out, Roman. My brother. What? Bye bye. And you dad. Nailed it. Okay, nice fight. And they fucked up the logo. They fucked up the logo for the seven consecutive times. Congratulations. Jennifer Roman, Jason Vandenberg. If you are looking for something to give that very special someone in your life, for honor will be available on Valentine's Day. <laughs> What could be more romantic than dinner, drinks, and an all-right vendor of Epic World? We're talking to the whole internet right now. Well, like, ten fans. This is the this is the decompression chamber. I'm only at ease when I'm alone or with my wife. People are always surprised, but I'm I'm an introvert. I'm never comfortable when there's when I'm at the office or stuff. What's really weird about that, though, is that I can't, like, I need the social stimulation, right? I need the pressure to create. So my life has been about finding a balance between jumping into these highly stressful situations and then getting away from them and then depressurizing and then going back in and back and forth. Like this. It was a very, very, very good event. We exceeded every business objective we had walking in there. Now we have many discussions with potential partners from clothing, action figures, animation series, amusement parks. We surprise people at T3. That means that we will do a bigger world tour. There's going to have presentation that was not planned. You cannot miss that, even if it's painful. I'm now in front of the For Honor booth in the middle of the action at Gamescom. So here we have 64 pods. So you can try the campaign, you can try the multiplayer with your friends. I was really looking forward to this game, this style of combat. You feel this sense of realism. The control system was a bit different than I'm used to. At the beginning, I was having a little bit of trouble to get into it. You guard incoming attacks to the right, left, or top, and attempt to retaliate where there's an opening. 
It sounds simple, right? Well, it isn't. I would like to see maybe like sneak attack kills, like sneak kills from behind. That would be like useful. J'ai fait travailler Paquito jusqu'à minuit hier. C'est que je vais regarder ça là. Une expérience AAA en 2016, c'est plus juste un bon jeu. Parce que si c'est un excellent jeu, t'es pas capable d'aller online et de connecter avec ton ami, ça reste un astide jeu de merde. En ce moment, à cause de notre incapacité à se staffer online, je suis en train de couper des features qui sont développées. Mais pour sauver deux, deux, deux semaines de programmation online, je suis obligé de les couper dans mon jeu. En gros, on demande à des gens de courir le 100 mètres, mais en fait, ils font un marathon. J'ai eu euh, sept démissions dans les dernières semaines. Je veux que Simon mette de la pression sur Bénédicte pour qu'il embauche. Je veux qu'on soit agressif parce qu'on est vraiment dans le trouble. Tu te souviens jusqu'à Il fallait monter à 600 personnes pour réussir à, à garder vivantes les trois branches du projet, monter trois core teams. Aujourd'hui, je peux pas le staffer avec les moyens que j'ai. Mais moi, j'accepte pas un mandat euh, tant et si longtemps que j'ai pas un plan de staffing. On va se retrouver dans une position avec un château de cartes qui va s'écrouler. Dans ce Brand Week, j'ai un meeting la semaine prochaine. Je vais leur dire que c'est là où on va être en vidéoconférence. On peut regarder, c'est quoi la date? Il y a un moment donné, il va falloir qu'on fasse des sacrifices sur des places. Là. La Brand Week, là, sérieusement, c'est le business qui a lead. C'est leur présentation. Tu essaies encore de te déloader des trucs. C'est ça ouais. que tu essaies de faire. Il y a tout le temps au moins une personne de l'équipe. Donc, je me donne un choix. On participe pas à des événements consommateurs. Non, mais c'est pas à moi, faut que tu dises ça. Ça t'est boss, ça t'est. Mais tes mon gens. boss, c'est toi. Oui, mais tes gens à Paris, c'est tes clients. Le vrai boss, c'est tes clients. Tu sais, c'est un meeting pour eux autres, là. Pas celui-là. On va y aller pour 10 minutes. I am hiding. I have found this wonderful booth of solitude that's far enough away from the beaten path that no one can find me so I can get my work done. I've given up control of over 90% of this game by this point. Uh, uh, Roman, so Roman is uh, is directing the entire multiplayer effort and al almost all of the gameplay. Uh, Roman and Gaelic and Jeff and those other guys and I'm, I'm not involved right now on that because we've I've turned my attention on, uh, on narrative, cinematics, writing, I was writing at 7 a.m. this morning, and I'll be writing until 10 p.m. tonight. I'll we'll just keep rolling like that through the weekend. Hello. That's lunch. It's been real food. <laughs> Remember when we lived in France and real food was part of the culture? Yes. Well, it's nice for you to come home for lunch <laughs> during the week. I like it when you do that. How's it at the office? <laughs> what were you doing this morning? Kill me. <laughs> Jason, he's 100% in the game, and so I'm like a lifeline back out because I'm always keeping us in the room together. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm really not running the show in my head. I just kind of poke at things. And then suddenly I go, oh, when I find it, it's not, oh, that's it in my mind. I go, book. I can feel it in my heart. I feel it in my body, right? My body goes, yes, that's what we're doing. It's how I work as a director, right? I have this deep kind of, <sighs> this emotional part, this sort of, um, whatever this is, a monster, that that is just going to do what it's going to do. It keeps me up at night.
everybody. Hi, brother. We are doing a three-hour stream from PAX. Um, for, for Honor, we're doing a, we're doing, um... For Honor? For Honor, yeah. What's that? Oh, the game! Yeah, thanks. God, sorry. I love you. Like your brother. Like your brother. Similar to me. What's the weather like uh, uh, in Montreal? Is it like, does, it, does it, the air always smell like baguettes? <laughs> yeah, yes. That's how I picture it in my mind. Constantly, constantly. It's, it's just weird to have breakfast here in the morning instead of at like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> know what you want? Yes. Southwestern exposure, six eggs. The full house, please. And six eggs, right? Six, yeah. <laughs> I am not, I am not enough of a man for the 12. <laughs> Is there a sword in that cane yet? You know what? I was in France, and this French cop car goes, I'm walking, and it's, four cops get out. And they're like, excuse me, Mama's here. I need to see your cane. Okay, and I'm not making this up. He, he goes, fiddles with it. He goes, Pedal, pedal. You have a sword in here? <laughs> and I go, no. no. He goes, OK, yeah. have a nice day. Gets in his car, drives off. What is it about your I whole shtick that could make him think he might be carrying a sword? Because <laughs> 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 you look like you're just on your way to your job at the insurance company. Right? To work on actuarial tables. That was, right? I was, I was being profiled. You're profiled. I'm being profiled. You're man. profiled. Yeah, one more. This will be fun, because if he has one more cup of coffee, he turns into a maniac. The Vikings, you know, those guys starved all winter. Those guys and lived off of other people's food all summer. They didn't actually The, the exist. biggest assholes That's, ever. They didn't exist. Yes, like they the, did. Not have in the read, Have you read that 1066? Guy that guy didn't. The, the, that guy didn't. The Danish literally came down I, and invaded I'm England you. The, the, when the, the, the when Danes the, exist. Yes. The Danes yes. existed. Those guys? Yeah. Fictional. That's an interesting point. One. Finally, 45 <laughs> years, and I'm finally making an interesting point. I'm just gonna savor this moment. I'm just gonna enjoy it. So good. When I think I was 14. My dad got involved in a community play, and it was the first time I had been in a theater when the show was not on. And I was blown away. It was like seeing behind the matrix. It was this feeling of incredible revelation. It was like, oh my God, this is the theater before the show begins. It's like watching creation. It's like watching the universe be created. It's, it's, it's incredible. Here in the PAX Arena and in Twitch video players online around the world, welcome to the Four Honor PAX West Gauntlet. In games, we love to hear about the process of making the games. We love to watch the game unfold. We love to experience it before it's completed. Jason Vandenberg. I can't imagine more meaningful work for me. I work in the Temple of Thespis, you know? I, I, I devoted my life to entertaining people and to trying to find new ways to reach them and, and to, to fill their hearts with new ideas through entertainment, right? This is how I'll spend the rest of my life. I may not make video games my whole life, but I'm gonna be entertaining people. And I'll do that until the day I die. So far, everything we've been doing on For Honor has a tremendous impact in Russia. 
the trailer, they have a lot of views, the, the positive feedback we're getting, a lot of registration on our website are coming from Russia. So it's like, okay, let's do something for Russia. <laughs> Our creative director, he first thought about For Honor after having a German longsword class. This is what we want the people to experience when playing For Honor is, we want you to be on the battlefield, experiencing the emotion, the, the danger of being surrounded by all those uh, epic warriors. It's a long time I Le sommeil, il y a une chance que j'ai ma machine. Je suis comme Darth Vader. L'apnée, ça fait en sorte que tu ne fais jamais, tu jamais dans le sommeil profond, tu te réveilles constamment, soit tu t'étouffes ou tu arrêtes de respirer. Tu ne vas pas avoir des dangers graves parce que quand tu respires mal, quand tu dors mal, tu manques d'oxygène, c'est pas bon pour le cœur. Euh, la dame m'a dit que j'étais à euh, 3 à 6 mois de faire une crise cardiaque. Il y en a quand ils stressent, ils ne mangent pas. Moi, quand je stresse, je mange. Allô, Lily, comment ça va? Tu sais, les enfants ils comprennent que papa travaille, mais lundi matin, quand je suis allé reconduire mes filles à l'école, la plus petite a pleuré. Parce qu'elle ne voulait pas que je parte. Ça brise le cœur. Même ma grande, une fois que la petite a été partie, elle m'a fait un câlin. Puis elle m'a dit, papa, je veux pas que tu partes. Je veux... Fait que c'est. <rire> c'est pas facile. Quand je vous dis qu'il y a des conséquences à ce qu'on n'ait pas pu amener notre plan de staffing cet été, c'est ça que je dis, là. C'est qu'en ce moment, on me ramène ça au moment où on est le plus en crunch, là. L'équipe, l'équipe est fatiguée. L'équipe, là, elle se bat pour sa survie. La soumission et la date de sortie n'est pas sécurisée aujourd'hui. C'est pas juste de dire, ah, OK, Cardin, on ouvre les valves. Non, la réalité, c'est qu'au mois de mai, il manquait 500 personnes pour faire le plan de marque. Bien, la réalité aujourd'hui, <rire> c'est que ces personnes-là, en plus de ne pas les avoir, en plus, j'ai pas pu les commencer à les chercher euh, au mois de mai dernier. C'est qu'on me pitchait en octobre pendant que tous mes directeurs, tous mes leads se battent comme des chiens pour arriver à soumettre le jeu dans les temps. Moi, ma job, c'est de sécuriser ma date de chip parce qu'en ce moment, c'est pas le cas. Il y a un décalage, la date aurait des conséquences majeures sur, sur la compagnie. Là. This is IGN News, where split-screen functionality has been officially cut from Ubisoft's upcoming medieval brawler. For However, now it has been confirmed by Ubisoft that the feature has been dropped from the game entirely. Online, anything that was co-op with split-screen is gone. Ouch. The team have spoken many times about the importance of split-screen as a feature and how it applies to their vision. In a 2015 interview with GameSpot, creative director Jason van der Berg said that the feature was absolutely key for us. Split screen, super required because this is a game about fighting with weapons. During an interview with IGN, producer Stefan Cardin said that the change was made very recently. We decided this week to cut the split screen. It was a feature that we love, but for us it was critical to make the decision now so we can polish all the features at the AAA level and make sure that we have the most amazing experience. With a special special ausgabe for honor, and zwar with a split screen Maybe special. Maybe somewhere down the road, you can to realize, hey, what is this? For me, it's one of my most Je veux profiter de ce team meeting là parce que les gens sont fatigués puis il y a eu beaucoup de grunts pour leur dire on est conscient de la réalité et moi je veux travailler avec vous aujourd'hui j'en fais un cas personnel pour qu'on améliore nos façons de planifier des périodes passantes. Il faut qu'on brise le truc de il y a juste moi qui peux le faire. Mm I know with the life period, we, su we suffer a lot. And to me, the thing I'm asking you is to open your mind and work closely with us to make it happen. But I also need your help for organization. 
please stop to be sneak and uh, stop stop to be negative saying nothing will change we will again make things change internally and I, I will work my ass very hard to make sure we have a healthy environment and an healthy calendar for everyone. Yes, we are closing now. December 6th, we send our bill to QC to get a good validation from them. If we don't get a green light, we are missing the date. Échouer, ça fait toujours partie du, euh, du paysage. Quand tu arrives, dans, moi j'appelle ça, on est dans la red zone. Plus tôt dans le projet, tu peux toujours dire, ah, on va y réfléchir plus tard, il n'y a plus de plus tard. I'm going through this weird, weird process of letting go. And so I'm sort of separating from the game. And there's a depression that comes after you stop, right? When you're creating something, at least for me, you get really like, oh, sad. No game wants to be finished. You have to force it. My brothers. How's it going? <laughs> oh, dear. Look at what you, this is lovely. It's kind of interesting that you have time for this today. Yes. You know, it's like, wow. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Something happened? Listen. It's the stress you, relief. Get he needed to get to. Could you fire yourself? I did. <laughs> no, I'm done, dude. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What? No. I'm done. Yes, I'm done. No. My, my role on the project is over. Yes. So you wander no, no, the I... halls? Yes. Forlornly? Yes. Fucking for. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I'm still there. Yeah, I have an office. I'm sitting, okay. with, the, I'm sitting with the sound team, but I have no tasks. Like, I'm done. They no longer care about my opinion. These barbarians, they seem like they're good people, huh? They embrace each other like they were all kin. But that is all a lie. When night falls, they stab each other with their knives. Writing Apollyon was maybe the closest to putting a lot of my own views into a character. Apollyon believes that the only way that you can know yourself is through life and death survival, you know, experiences, is being challenged and fighting for your life. She believes that that's the only way to self-knowledge. Your emperor is dead. Will you take his place? After I kill the rest of them, I'm coming to kill you. <laughs> A wolf. Leave the palace to Sejuro. The others can fight for the scraps. truth is that when you fight for something that you believe in, win or lose, you become immortal. You're remembered. Warriors are remembered because of the battles that they fight. And we all want immortality, right? We all want to be remembered.
un projet de 4-5 ans, la toile de fond, c'est le projet. Mais ça devient ta vie, ça devient ta façon de vivre. Tu peux être le meilleur manager au monde. Tu peux avoir les meilleures méthodologies, essayer de prendre les problèmes de tout le monde, essayer de gérer des trucs de projet, gérer des attentes, livrer tout ce qu'on avait à livrer. À un moment donné, tu perds tes repères, là. Tout le monde a des attentes. Tu as des attentes dans ta vie personnelle, tu as des attentes à ton travail, tu as des gens de ton équipe qui croient, qui croient en ce que tu leur as vendu, d'être capable de tout vivre ça. Moi, en quatre ans et demi, j'ai euh, tout donné. L'ambition, c'est bon, mais... Euh, est-ce que tu as tous les outils pour gérer cette adrénaline-là, cette pression-là? I really, really miss you all. Um, I just want to, uh, to clarify something because I just disappeared before Christmas. My comment center just shut down. Just shut down. I woke up and I was not able to, to just think. And uh, I went and said, go and get help. <laughs> so uh, I just want to share that with you, just telling you that, you know, it's part of life. I'm good to give advice. I'm really bad to follow my own advice. I don't recommend you to pass through the hell I passed through. I really love you and I'm really, really happy to be back with you. Comme un gros sac de roche, là. Puis là, j'ai fait ça de même. Pouf, ça a tombé. Le premier truc qu'ils ont fait, c'est euh, briser l'ego. Puis ils l'ont cassé à coup de masse. Tu sais, des fois, tu te dis, ah, je vais penser à moi ou euh, on y pense quoi, 15, 20 minutes? Puis là, j'ai pensé 14 heures par jour, 21 jours fermés de tout. Mr. Vandenberg. How are you, sir? A lot better. A lot better. I, I went for. I went for. Yeah. But I'm back. Good. It's yeah. a good break. Yeah. So I need to talk to you if you've got time. Yeah, I will just look at the uh, at the schedule. Maybe this afternoon. I just need to have that. I'm done with the project and kind of winding down. And what am I going to do next? And I have these ideas for the sequel. And everyone's waiting for the game to be to come out so that we can see if it was a success or not. And until that happens, it's going to be really hard for anybody to listen to me about what I think we should do next, right? For Honor is a very special project. It started from a sparkle that you guys saw in a totally blue ocean. And you're helping the studio and the whole company to shine and to thrive. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Five years already, we knew we were touching something special, and you guys deliver on every step. I want to thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you and enjoy the champagne. Yeah. Dennis got up and talked to him. Steph got up and talked to him. I didn't talk. I wasn't invited. So it's yours. For, you'll forgive me if I don't dance on my own grave. There's no grave. Yeah, OK. Sure. I'm going to go talk to Steph. You're a very responsible guy. You can decide how you react.
I am a hard man to understand. So people are left to interpret what I want and what I do through the lens of whatever they think I am. I love peace, but I'm not comfortable in it. I fight and I live to create peace, but once it's there, I don't know what to do. When Steph and I sat down, it was clear that we're, we're not gonna continue, right? The last two years, he had to make a bunch of really unpleasant decisions. Did those decisions and my decisions end up in a place where we're gonna separate? Yeah, we're, we're gonna separate. There's a word that we have, that we don't talk much about anymore, um, which I've had to, I've had to learn about on this project. Um, and that is nobility. Nobility means that you do the thing that you don't want to do, even though it hurts you beyond measure, because you know that it's what the people need you to do. And you suck it up and you don't complain, and you just do it. Ça a commencé d'abord avec euh, une équipe de production qui cherchait vraiment un projet. On est tombé sur un directeur créatif, Jason. On avait l'ossature et les muscles, mais on n'avait pas d'âme. Il nous manquait notre cœur. Puis Jason, avec son rêve, avec sa passion, avec son énergie, ça fitait avec l'équipe. Le truc qui me blesse le plus aujourd'hui, c'est qu'en fait, on fait plein de choses avec des gens qu'on apprécie puis qu'on aime nous, au quotidien. Mais par orgueil, par, par ego, par compétition, les gens se le disent pas. Peux-tu se respecter puis s'aimer à la base? Je veux dire, on est ensemble. Merci beaucoup. Il va nous rester des relations. C'est de ça qu'on va se rappeler. Jason! Neil! On dit souvent que euh, livrer un projet comme ça, c'est un peu un accouchement. Mais malheureusement, il y a de la douleur là-dedans. Puis il y a des. Tu sais, ça n'a pas tout le temps été rose. Il y a eu des moments difficiles. Puis ça a laissé des marques pour certaines personnes. Ça fait partie de la game. The parts of my personality that I am currently being told are the reason that I need to go are the same parts of my personality that made me the best choice and the reason that they gave me that team. I'm not a very good soldier, so I have to live with the consequences. It's a really dark place that I'm in right now. My baby is being taken away from me. And, and gold babies. Yeah, well, it's not the way it's usually done. So I'm not going to be invited back. And the reasons for that are not okay with me. I'm happy to let it go out in the world. I'll find something else to do, right? But it's one of the worst things that could happen in the middle of one of the best things that's possible. So I'm not in a good space, I'm really not. The actual answer though to why does it keep happening to me, I actually had to think about this. I know the answer now. Awesome. I will tell you a story. I will tell you a story, right? Hey! Hey! I can tell you the story of a warlord who found a people who were in trouble, had been defeated. When this warlord came in and inspired them and organized them and trained them and gave them weapons and then formed an army and reclaimed the land. 
And now peace begins and the farmers go back to their fields and the traders and the merchants arrive in the city and now everything is returning to normal. And so a day comes when the council, the priests and the merchants all come to the warlord and say, you need to go. It's the curse of the warlord, right? The game is amazing. It's beautiful. It's an incredible achievement. And I will never work on it again. Imagine that you have a child and imagine that that child grows and goes to college. And imagine that when they leave for college, they sit down with you and they have a private conversation and they tell you that they never want to see you again. I'm sorry, Dad. But you're just too intense. I'm going to go and be, do my own life, but please don't contact me again. <sighs> I'm trying to just be okay with it. I'm trying to just not freak out because uh, I don't have another choice that I can make. I'm going to go to do the live stream today and there's nobody there who under who he was aware of that. Here we are. So everyone else is here celebrating for honor and is ready to launch the game. Hey. This is a little over the top with the crown and the sword. This is a, this is going too far. To this is literally well, it's not too far for me. Oh, this is right up my alley. It's like being an actor. I have to find in myself part of me that is genuinely excited about that moment. Right? It's not pretending. I'm not. I don't. I don't need to pretend. Hi. Do you want to keep this uh, little five o'clock shadowy stuff yeah. going? You don't want to trim it down. It's part of the look. It's part of the look. That's why I'm asking. This is just what I am. I'm right. Just melodramatic. It's just the deal. Love it. In the meantime, let's head back to Chris, who's sitting down with Jason. Jason, welcome to the large camp. This is my religion. It's the theater of the mind. Entertainment, games, movies, books, all of this stuff. It's the theater of the mind. It's the lens through which we understand how the world works without having to literally go to war ourselves, right? It's a way for people to be warned and to learn about what the world contains to better prepare themselves for what's happening in their real life. We reject philosophy as a study in our culture these days, right? Philosophy has been sort of pushed to the side, but we revere our entertainment forms, right? Well, it's the same. Entertainment is, is philosophy in motion. Jason Vandenberg. Raining, days ending, we're walking in the distance. My friend, the end is near. And so we face the final curtain. Regret, I've had a few, but then again. The time is coming to lift the curtain, turn on the lights, and let the creation speak for itself, right? Let it stand there and be judged. And I, I won't be there. I'll be in the audience. 
on voulait sortir un jeu parfait pour la Saint-Valentin, un jeu pour l'amour, quelque chose de plus immersif, quelque chose qui est moins dans la tête, beaucoup plus dans le cœur. On, on voulait vraiment que les joueurs puissent vivre l'expérience qu'on qu a pu vivre dans Braveheart dans 300. Le 14 février, cette année, c'est pas le temps de faire l'amour, ça va être le temps de faire la guerre. Donc préparez-vous pour le grand lancement de For Honor. Ils ont aimé ça acheter For Honor? Merci. Salut, je m'appelle Luc, je travaille avec l'équipe de développement. Montre-moi le jeu, on la voit dans la photo. C'est cool. Merci à toi. Ouais, ouais, merci bien. Ça sent mille en ce moment. On donne pas de chiffres. T'as passé la vidéo de Conan le matin? Ouais. C'est cool. Luc et Stéphane, ah oui, merci ça. beaucoup de me recevoir dans votre cafétéria. Avez-vous déjà des chiffres préliminaires au niveau <coughs> du téléchargement? On en a, mais on peut pas en donner. Peut... Ça, ça va bien. Okay. Mais ça, ça va très, très bien. Ça va, on est content. D disons qu'aujourd'hui, il y avait un enthousiasme. Tu t'as pris ça où? Je me suis couché dans les boîtes de jeu. Elle est bonne. Ouais, elle est trop bonne. Eh oui, mais là, c'est Facebook. Eh oui. Si ça part en malade, mon gars. Reste-tu des copies de Forner? Oui, mon reste. Oui? Oui. T'en as-tu vendu aujourd'hui? Oui, quand même beaucoup. Collector Edition sur les deux. C'est un peu pour tout le monde. Ah, ouais, non. Ah, non. Ah, c'est cool. Ah, c'est cool. Dans le jeu, on a l'option d'enlever le sang ou d'enlever le La décapitation. Ouais. Donc, on va le mettre par défaut, on va enlever l'option dans le menu. Ah ouais, on est capable de faire ça. Peut-être que cette version-là marcherait pour la chaîne puis qu'on aurait, ça serait pas vraiment trop trop dispendieux. Je t'en prendrais avec Pascal pendant que je suis absent. Là. Ok. Il faut que j'arrête là. Mais ben, moi, je pars le 7. J'arrive le soir. Ok. Puis à partir du 8, je te désigne. Vous êtes à l'hôtel dedans et tout là. Ouais. En... Ouais. en mode Disney quoi. Ouais. Je suis en mode Mickey Mouse. <rire> J'amène ma, ma petite puis ma fielle. Il y a le Beauty Bee Body Bee Boutique. C'est un makeover de princesse. Fait qu'ils vont être peignés, euh, ouais. des robes. Je trouve que j'ai été un, un frère, fils, oncle, mari, père absent. J'essaie de me reconnecter avec ma gang. Un petit peu de nourriture. Non, tu vas manger de la nourriture. Non, c'est rose brillante. 
Ça, c'est Pikachu. Ça, c'est lui, Pikachu. Mais c'est pas le même parce que j'ai refait euh, très vite. C'est le petit. Quoi? Ça, t'as tu fait mal quand tu t'es fait ton tatou? Regarde, tu vois encore les gars. Je te <rire> jure, là, que quand qui est rendu près d'ici, là, ça fait vraiment très, très mal puis ça a duré quatre heures. Mais ça veut dire quoi, un phénix? Un phénix, c'est un animal qui renaît de ses sangs. Des fois, on veut changer dans la vie, puis des fois, il, il, il nous arrive des épreuves, puis il y a toujours moyen de se réinventer. Je veux prendre le temps de comprendre ce qui s'est passé. Est-ce que j'ai de l'énergie? J'ai de l'énergie encore. J'en ai combien d'antennes, puis pour combien de projets? C'est ça, ma vraie, grand, ma vraie grande question, là. Et euh, ça, aujourd'hui, j'ai pas la réponse. Ça n'a pas beaucoup arrêté depuis la sortie du jeu. J'essaie de prendre quand même un certain recul puis de m'assurer que je ne tombe pas dans la fatigue ou dans une spin plus négative parce que je suis fatigué. Il n'y a rien dans mon projet que j'ai vécu ou que dans lequel ma vie est en danger. Là. Et puis on se met un stress puis on vit des émotions comme si on était sur le front à la guerre, là. Comme ma fille de, de 9 ans me dit, « Tu sais, papa, les belles journées finissent toujours par se terminer, mais les mauvaises aussi. » Moi, je veux m'assurer de jamais oublier. Anything that was going to happen in that project was going to happen. I have accepted that I am not doing this anymore. That was a big step. Accepting that I won't work on the sequel, that I won't do another, or I won't continue with this team. It's the greatest performance I've ever given. That's the best I can do. It's the only time I've ever released a game and then been able to play it on day one and not hate it. This is the game I wanted to play when I was a kid. It wasn't a lie. I wasn't kidding about the dream. It wasn't just a story I made up. I really wanted to play this game and now I can. And I can play it with millions of people. This tale will be told in this way. The warlord packs up their weapons, puts them in a wagon, gets on their horse, and leaves. It's a story about peace. Runner is a story about peace and how warriors create it. Mm -hmm.